Hey, Roster Watch Nation, it's your friend Lenny Bird Trash Man, back with another Dynasty Rankings update. Not a lot has happened in the past week, <laughs> um, but I did make some movements. Um, two of them players on the same team. The first of those being Traylon Burks of the Titans, age 24. He's falling from 139 to 143. Um, Burks had a lackluster sophomore season, you could say. Um, and he has his work cut out for him if he wants to have anything resembling a productive fantasy season this year. One of the main reasons for that being that the offense – well, the team doesn't seem dedicated to getting him the ball or putting him in position to get the ball. I mean, the offensive coordinator, Nick Holtz, stated just this past week that Burks will get what he earns, um, which isn't a glowing endorsement on Burks and his fantasy potential. Um, add in the fact that Calvin Ridley is there in the mix, in addition to DeAndre Hopkins. Um, the coaches didn't even include Burks when they were talking about potential slot receivers the other day. Um, so things are not looking good for Traylon Burks right now. Um, they also have two running backs who are decent pass catchers in Tony Pollard, well, and especially in Tajay Spears. So we have to drop him a bit. Outlook doesn't look good. I had to drop him a bit at least. Also on that same team, Tony Pollard, age 27 um, he's falling as well 81 to 87 pollard is coming off a down year as well at least comparative to what he usually does in fantasy you know it was his first season as a starter in dallas um and it wasn't Terrible. I mean, I guess compared to a lot of running backs, it was actually pretty good, you know, thousand yards at least. Um, but compared to what he'd done as, you know, a 1B in Dallas previously, it, it didn't really, he didn't really rise to the occasion, so to speak. Um, and now that we know that the Titans view Pollard and Spears as basically interchangeable something else that the offensive coordinator said this past week it doesn't bode well for pollard you know becoming a bell cow back for the titans um he actually does better in a 1b kind of situation so maybe it, it'll it'll be good for him but i had to drop him down a bit just to get him closer to spears in the rankings because they could end up performing pretty similarly to each other. Last this week, we have Justin Herbert, quarterback of the Chargers. And my main reason for moving him down a little bit this week was because the Ch Chargers are making moves to make their offense into – a primarily running offense. You know, they got rid of Keenan Allen. They got rid of Mike Williams. They didn't really make any um, movements to bolster their receiving core in this offseason, but they did so in the running back room, adding Gus Edwards, um, adding, I think it was Ben Mason, um, another former Raven and at fullback. Um So, and Jim Harbaugh, the new coach of the Chargers, um, runs that kind of offense, you know, meat and potatoes, kind of, I don't want to say boring, but yeah, boring um, running offense like his brother, John, you know, in Baltimore, though, they have Lamar Jackson who can, you know, do as much or more with his legs than with his arms, but that's not the case with Herbert. 
you know, Herbert, he isn't a statue, but he's no Lamar Jackson. So I don't see him thriving in that kind of offense like Jackson does. So I dropped him just a little bit, just enough to make a little splash in the rankings. Um, so there you have it. Donnie's rankings update for the week. This has been the Trashman. I have for rosterwatch.com. Until next time, be ready.